Hi everyone, this is Michelle from Susan Spice and Everything Nice coming to you with another recipe, pickled serrano peppers. And if you're into things spicy, you'll love this one. This year, I grew a variety of different peppers in my garden and I decided to try out some serrano peppers. As you can see, the harvest was quite plentiful and I had to figure out what to do with them. I came across the recipe from a fork's tail and when I tried it, I loved it so much that I just had to share it with you. So no, this is not a typical Haitian recipe nor a recipe of my own, but it is something that I've been making quite often and been using it in almost everything. So let's go over the ingredients. I've got about a pound of serrano peppers, which are rinsed well, a few cloves of garlic, thinly sliced, distilled white vinegar, a glass jar or container of your choice to put the peppers in, some sugar, and lastly, which is not shown here, some water. For detailed information on the ingredient amounts, please refer to my website susanspice.com listed in the description box below. In a pot with the water placed on medium-high heat, we will add the sugar as well as the vinegar. As we wait for the temperature to rise, stir occasionally. You'll want to bring this up to a soft boil, just enough to dissolve the sugar. Avoid it reaching a roaring boil so that the liquid won't evaporate. Once the sugar has completely dissolved, remove it from the heat and set it aside to allow it to cool and come back to room temperature. Next, it's time to cut our serrano peppers. Feel free to slice them as thick or as thin as you'd like. Once all the peppers are cut, transfer them into the container of your choice. You can use gloves to protect your hands while transferring the peppers, but if not, just be sure to wash your hands well with soap and water after handling them. You'll also want to alternate with the sliced garlic into the container. To finish it all up, you'll pour in the cooled sugar water vinegar concoction into the jar with your peppers. As a reminder, be sure the liquid is cooled down completely to avoid cooking the peppers. Once all is done, you'll store this in the fridge for about three days before digging in. But I'll be honest, I couldn't wait the full three days. It was just way too good. Anyway, I really hope you give this one a try as it's so easy to make and you can also try it with jalapenos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.